Okay, so just a few minutes ago, I finished watching a video by The Luxury Vagabond where she interviewed coach Aisha Crumbine and the video was called, um, let's see, Surrender to the Process and Trust Yourself, Black Women Abroad, Upgrade Your Life After 40. And so they were having this great conversation and the thing that stood out the most to me was their conversation around security versus living and the idea that sometimes you have a really secure job, a secure life, but you have to sometimes ask yourself, are you really living? And in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why letting go of perceived security will lead to a more fulfilling life. I'm Giovanna Mae Reese, a holistic life and career coach who helps overwhelmed women set limits and clearly communicate their needs so they can make space in their life and work for what truly matters to them. On this channel, I will talk about actionable ways for you to do less so that you can live more. If that resonates with you, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit notifications so that you don't miss out on any content. So back to the reason why I want to talk about this video by the Luxury Vagabond where she interviewed Aisha Crumbine, again called Surrender to the Process and Trust Yourself, Black Women Abroad, Upgrade Your Life After 40 Plus, and I will put a link to that video down in the description. But the reason why this really resonated with me is because I thought about my life before I moved abroad um, to Brunei with my family. And going by the metrics that some people set outside looking in, it seemed like I was successful. I was a high school principal, I had a six-figure job, I bought my own house, and I think for people who have gone through a divorce, which is one of the things that I went through back in 2014-15, um, if it wasn't a great experience, you kind of leave it in survival mode. And so with me being a single mom at the time, I was concerned about taking care of my son, about providing a stable life for us. And so I was all about getting my certifications. I was all about um, climbing the educational hierarchy because at that time I was still a teacher, but shortly after I entered into administration, getting my first assistant principal job. But anyway, you know, you're in survival mode and all you can see is the the things that seem like they're going to support you living a stable, secure life. And it's completely understandable, of course, if your world has been upturned, you want to find ways to set it right and to be stable. And so I did that. I worked hard, um, moved up the ranks, and then, then I found out that although I was technically secure, you know, having a six-figure job and having a house, that I was always <laughs> exhausted. After 10 years in administration um, with, you know, all of the changes that have been happening in American education over the last decade, more and more stress on an already stressful job, I found myself 40 pounds heavier, I had high blood pressure, I had a perennial eye twitch, that always came back in the spring during state testing and hiring season and planning for the next school year. And so, you know, I'd always had this, this uh, desire to move abroad because I grew up in a military family and we had traveled abroad and I always knew I wanted to live abroad, but things were holding me back, right? The security, the golden handcuffs as they're called when you have a good paying job, um, the fact that I was 10 years away from retirement, so just settle in and let the nightmare keep on chugging <laughs> until you get to the end, your rewards, your retirement. Um, but that wasn't living. And for the last 10 years, I've had this voice in my mind. I, I've known that I wanted to move abroad. Again, was I waiting for retirement? Yes. Was I waiting on my son to graduate high school? Yes, I was waiting for that moment when I would 
give away that security or maybe have a little bit more after having worked for so long and then I would start living. And I think the turning point came for me when I met my um, new husband and entered into a relationship where I had a true partner and felt secure enough to take off that strong black woman cape and to you know trust and rely on someone who had shown me time and time again um, that he was going to have my back and so I credit him with that and he also works remotely so he can go anywhere and so that was also you know something that was that was in our favor um, but ultimately we decided what are we waiting for so I gave up the security of that six-figure job sold the house we all moved abroad. I'm black, back in the classroom, um, making less money than I was as a principal. But when I tell you I am living now, living, okay? I have time to spend with new friends I've made, with the expat community, the teacher community here. Um, I have time to spend with my son, uh, with my husband. We've been going on trips here in Southeast Asia. Um, my eye twitch is gone <laughs> and just, it, it's been fantastic. You know, obviously when you move abroad, there are things you have to get used to that are not the same as home, but you left home for a reason, right? Um, and so going back to this idea of having security versus living your life, let's bring this back to, to you. Now in this video, we're going to go through three simple reasons, three condensed reasons why letting go of security is going to lead to a more fulfilling life. And I know that for many people, you have this secret desire, um, or maybe not so secret, and you have been pushing it down, right? Because especially as women, we tend to push through, like somebody's got to do it or it's not going to get done. Um, suck it up, buttercup, just push it down and, and get it done, right? The whole hustle culture. And so when we're taking care of family, when we're taking care of work, a lot of times our own desires can be pushed aside and you look up and years have passed and you don't feel like you're really living. You feel like you're waiting to live. Um, and so the first thing that comes um, when you let go of security and decide to live more fully is that you embrace change. Okay, so if you let go of security and embrace change, that gets rid of that sense of stagnation that we sometimes feel from security because sometimes security is also synonymous with monotony. You're doing the same thing. And even if that thing isn't super stressful, you're doing the same thing all the time. And if you embrace change, you're opening up yourself to new opportunities and new experiences that can enrich your life. And if you have a family and you're making this change, it enriches their lives. Um, either directly because they are also getting to experience new things with you, but also they're experiencing a new version of you. Because if you are secure and stressed um, or secure and unhappy, the people you love are not experiencing the best version of you. And so when you embrace that change and let that energy of newness come into your life and trying new things, they experience a more fulfilled, a more self-actualized version of you. And if you have children, you're also providing a model to them that choices that they've made in the past don't mean that they have to stick with that path. You have the option, you have the choice to change your path no matter what you have done and no matter what your age is. So, you know, just like the Luxury Vagabonds conversation with Aisha Crumbine, just because you're 40 plus doesn't mean that you have to stick with being secure, that you can't make big changes in order to live your life to the fullest. Um, 
It doesn't mean that you have to keep doing all the things that you're doing. You can do less in order to live more. The second thing or the second reason why letting go of security um, can lead to a more fulfilling life is that you get to redefine success. So whatever measures the old version of you had or that someone else put in line for you, whether it's your parents, whether it's society, whoever said that success looks like the thing that you're clinging to because it's secure, um, when you let go of that security and decide to live a fuller life, you get to redefine success for yourself. So just because it has been like maybe i guess talking about myself when i was in a different spot success did look like um becoming a principal um i had my superintendent certification and was on my way to moving up into central administration positions making more money having more responsibility maybe my second eye would start twitching with all the stress i don't know but i was on my way there to that version of success that old Giovanna had, but new older Giovanna had a different definition of success and letting go of security allowed me to redefine that. And I'm still in the process of defining that. That's the thing, right? We're all on a journey and there's not really a stopping point except for, you know, the ultimate stopping point, but we're not there yet. <laughs> but, you know, you have to um, understand that we all have choices. And one of those choices is to define what success is for us. And it's not just your job. And when you are a high achieving, hardworking woman, sometimes we start defining ourselves by our job, we start defining ourselves by our salary, but you are a full human being and you are, you are a person, a soul, whatever your beliefs are, and it has nothing to do with your job, it has nothing to do with your salary. And so letting go of that security allows you to redefine what success actually means for you in this season of your life. So of the three reasons that um, embracing change and letting go of security can lead to a fuller life, the first reason was embracing change. The second one was redefining success. And the third one is trusting in your resilience. Because when you let go of that security, there are going to be some changes, but you will find that you are more adaptable and resilient than you could have ever thought. Stepping out of your comfort zone is going to lead to incredible discoveries. And on this journey, moving from Texas to Brunei in Southeast Asia, I have discovered um, that I am even more adaptable and more resilient um, than I could have imagined. And specifically when you're moving abroad, you learn that because it's such a culture shock depending on where you go and things are so different. Like being here on an island, things move on island time and when you're when you're a hard-working high-achieving woman and you're used to doing things a certain way you've got to take a breath and you've got to realize hey it'll get done maybe not on your time frame but it'll get done <laughs> and so trust in your resilience trust that you will be able to adapt and to find a new way of being after you let go of that security blanket that you were using um, because you were scared of what would happen if you didn't have that perceived security. So you might be asking yourself, okay, this is great. Um, yes, maybe I need to let go of being secure so I can live a more full life, or maybe I'm not ready for that. So what's your next step? Your next step is to click the link in the description to download my ebook, The Art of Simplifying Your Life. Because in that book, I have actionable steps and exercises that you can do to start reconnecting with your authentic self. Um, also, if you're experiencing stress, 
usually it's because you have some boundary issues. And so there are some exercises in there to help you work on your boundaries and as well to cope with overwhelm and anxiety. So it's a free ebook. Please go download it because I think it will do um, you a lot of good if you're on my channel. Um, and if you're an educator and you're a little bit curious about what it might take to teach abroad, I got you. So you can click the other, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you can click the other um, link in my description and check out my passport to TEFL success. And that is also a free download that kind of outlines um, what you need to teach abroad, whether you are already a teacher or you're someone who is degreed and interested in teaching abroad, because that is one of the easiest ways um, to teach abroad, but you have to like kids. Um, check out my other video that talks about how just going abroad to teach may not be the way to go because there are some other things involved in that. So I'll, I'll link to that video in the description as well. Let me know in the comments if you struggled or are struggling with the idea of keeping, you know, your life as it is versus living the life that you want. That may not be moving abroad. It may be changing careers. It may be retiring. It may be, I don't know, just a big change. What's keeping you from making that change? Let me know in the comments. And then also let me know if there are any other topics that you want me to discuss in terms of doing less to live more because that is what this channel is about. It is about helping you live your best life by shedding all of those unnecessary obligations that you have put on yourself for whatever reason so that you can live a life that gives you joy. And in terms of security, which we've been talking about, remember that living a life that is true to yourself is the greatest security that you can have. Being grounded in who you are is going to give you the greatest security of your life. So again, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and join me next time as we keep talking about ways to do less and live more with gratitude.